I think it's uh, very important to look all over the world for bloodlines, characteristics, gene pools, whatever you want to say, that would help you in your breeding program. For example, I went over to England a few years ago to see what was available over there. And I found some real pretty ponies, pretty headed ponies, fine bone ponies. Uh, some of them were line bred with uh, high stone Nicholas in them. And that's a, a very popular uh, horse over in England and a very, very athletic, very attractive horse. And uh, one thing that uh, his offspring have is, is prettiness. And uh, some of them are, are athletic and some of them are kind of small. So uh, you, you need to be in the lookout, or I need to be in the lookout uh, all over the world. I know South Africa is having some success with some of their hackneys. And so uh, I'm always in the lookout. I've imported a pony stallion from Holland and a hackney horse stallion from Holland. Uh, it has parts that, uh, that maybe I can use. And it's a long-term commitment to be a breeder. And uh, many people, uh, have some good animals that you need to be looking at that might help your breeding program. I have got frozen semen, of course, from Hackney horses in, in England and uh, to help our Hackney horse in our breeding program here. Uh, in recent years, I think in the last five years, our farm has sold close to 60 head of Hackneys to Europe, whether it's to Holland or to England. And uh, that's because of uh, I think the desire that we've had to uh, get acquainted with uh, ponies from other countries. We have uh, quite a few people come and visit our farm and stay for a week or so, week, 10 days, two weeks from Europe and uh, to uh, see what we're doing in our breeding program here. And they'll go to a show or two, maybe to some sales. We've had vis visitors here at the farm from South Africa, Australia, England, Holland, Ireland. I think that's important to have this uh, uh, communication respect from one country to another. <clears throat> I would be in hopes in time that there could be maybe one registry, worldwide registry, uh, where all ponies, uh, we accept the ponies are registered in Ireland and Har uh, Scotland and, and uh, England uh, or South Africa or Australia and then on uh, through the uh, our computers, we could see what bloodlines are available in their registries. And I think it would help improve our breeding programs in America a lot and even around the world if we could see what gene pools are over there and what are here and what uh, gene pools that uh, people can use to improve their breeding program.